Hmm. In today's episode, we're sculpting this, which means we're carving this into this. We'll show you how we do it, work some mad detailing magic, recap our sculpture, and dazzle you with breathtaking cinematics. Looking for top five entertainment for the next 40 minutes? Then park it right here and stick around. Hey, hey, good morning, good day, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, City Sculptor, and you have made your way back to Pangasus Bay. Hey, it's great to have you here with us today. And we are looking in on the subject of today's build. We're looking actually across Bell's Basin, which we built out last episode, down into the Arabica Valley. And today's build is going to feature first responders. And in this space, we're going to be building out a massive police headquarters and a fire station down in this area here. One, because I think the area is going to need all of these services as we continue to expand our way out to the north and west, if you will, of downtown. And two, we don't have any of those big, massive services that really are set up in a position to service North Amundsen and our downtown area. So I want to put those into place today. Now, we're also going to be working on building out some commercial. We're going to put in some medium density residential. As we continue to kind of step our way up into downtown, you see the taller buildings in the background. We're going to continue to kind of elevate as we make our way in through, the, through North Amundsen and into downtown. And I also want to thread in some sort of a tram line in here somewhere too. And I'm and eyeing this kind of area back in here because we put in tram surface that runs out past Bent Keel Point and then on into our sports complex back over here. So I think we can figure out a way to get that in here somehow. I'm just not sure how yet. All right. Oh, another thing to report. True to his word. Raymond Hughes did, in fact, become a Patreon member. And thank you so much, Raymond, for your generosity. Really appreciate the support. And good luck in that budding law career here in Pangasus Bay. <laughs> all right. I just threw a lot at you guys. So with all that as a backdrop, let's do this. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my road network in this space, and I'm going to actually borrow a grid system from our downtown. I'm going to take you on a little journey back into downtown here. And as you recall, we have these large grids that are 120 by 200. And if I zoom down in here a little closer, you can see we've got 120 uh, down the left side here by 200 across the bottom. And we just kind of box that all up, and it's a, it's a familiar pattern. You're going to see that pattern all throughout our downtown. And then we kept the same orientation here as we went in through North Amundsen as well. I think they got another 120 by 200. And so I want to carry that orientation into this space here. But before we do that, we need to start with our major roads. And I'm going to grab a medium road here. Yeah, it's a divided four lane, I think. And we're just going to come right off of the center of this, this intersection right here and draw this down. I'm going to draw this down pretty far just to you know, put it in place. And then I'm going to come over here from our college. Now I've got some fixed points, if you will, to attach to. So when we build out our tram and bus station down in here with some commercial shopping, we've got a great place from which to anchor. Now with those major roads in place, then I can come in and start playing off of my grid system. Now I'm going to select this two lane road here and I'm going to just kind of tie into that orientation right down somewhere around in here and run this straight out at a 90 degree angle, 200 meters. And then I'll come down 120 and then come back in 200. And you can see what I'm building off here now. I've got my grid, it's starting to take shape, and now I have to figure out how I'm gonna tie that in to this space here. And I think the natural tie-in point is probably right here to start, because I'm far enough from this intersection, and it'll then kind of define the space down in here. So let's do that. Let's just zoom right in here. If I come out 32 meters here, and if I come out 32 meters here, then I should be able to kind of tie in nice and neat like, it won't be perfect. Yeah, it's a nice gentle curve that feeds itself back into that main arterial. And then now we can use that as our launching point, if you will, to connect on this other side. So if I come out here, 48, 48. All right, we'll do that. And then I want to come out here, same distance, 48. Just start seeing how that's going to flow into that. It's going to be, it looks like, kind of a curve that starts to happen right in this space here. And then hits this snap point there at 38 meters, comes down. I, I think I can do 42. And then we'll just go straight on into that one. Yeah, and that really frames up this little space nicely. That, like I said, is gonna be the footprint for our bus and tram station. Now, before I dive in on this tram and bus depot in here, I wanna come out and build out the rest of my road grid. And I'm gonna do that by cutting back this Hickory Street here, and I'll trim back Walnut Street. I'm gonna reestablish our grid here that we've got going on. So let's start from this corner and come down 120. And then I want to come in, but not all the way just yet. We're going to go only to 112. 
And the reason I want to do that is because I need to have this grid kind of respect this major arterial that's going to come through here. And the way we're going to do that is I'm going to select a four lane divided road, which is what this is in the first place. I'm going to turn on parallel road mode, set my offset to about five. And then I want to connect with the center, if you will, of that and draw this line down, turning this snap to guidelines off. And then we're going to come down here and start heading back up in this direction there. And now I've got roads that are equidistant apart. So what this allows me to do is to come in here and delete this street and this street, and then come back in with our four lane divided road, turn off parallel road mode, and just draw this right straight down. Now I can trim this off and I've got a nice straight even connection here for Walnut Street coming down here into Olive Street. And I've also, whoa, we've got an airplane coming through. Welcome to Pangasus Bay. We've got this kind of setup here now where I can come in and downgrade these roads to two lane roads down here and here. And you can see they're both exactly six zoning squares off of this big arterial road. And now I can use that to tie back into our grid. Love it when a plan comes together. I think it's going to blow up my zoning squares and it did, but that's okay. We can reestablish those. And now we can finish out the grid down here going down 120 and coming back into this space here. There you go. Now you've got the forming of your grid on this side of the road and we've given some buffer to Walnut Street. All right, so now let's build out our grid over in this side of town. Sit tight. So now with that grid in place, we can start laying out our larger assets and the rest of our build in this space. Um, specifically, I'm going to come down in here and let's go over to our police administration tab. I want that police headquarters. And uh, ooh, that's a big, big asset. We have to start calling these guys colossal assets. OK, so we're going to drop that in kind of probably right along here somewhere. And then another one I wanted to use is a fire station, and it's going to be the big one. Oof, it's also eating up a lot of space here. I'd like it to nestle into this little corner down here. So that, you know, those are, are going to be our two big ones there. And then this area here, I'm going to redefine a little bit. We're going to build out some commercial shopping in this space down here because I thought nestled between Primrose and Walnut, it's probably a high traffic area, good for, you know, centralized shopping. And of course, we can't forget about our bus and tram station. All right, so let's jump down in here and start to work on that police headquarters. OK, so the first thing I should probably do is, is connect this into here. I mean, we've got this big road here. Let's make sure that we've got access. Let's uh, turn these on and just run this straight out here until it connects in that space there. There. And then I think I can come in here and take that out, maybe take that out. And then let's just see if the police station fits in there. Where is it? Police? Oh, police. There you go, police headquarters. Yeah, it is big. So before I do that, let's go in here and do a little terraforming. And then let's just jump down here with that police, police headquarters, and bring that right in there. There we go. Ooh, yeah, and I think it even connects into this road here. Hey, that turned out pretty nicely. Are there upgrades we can do on this thing? I haven't placed one of these before, police headquarters. Yeah, let's see, uh, extra jails. Does it fit? Yeah, it seems to fit right down there. And I don't know that we got a lot of criminals, but let's find out. Garage extension, we'll put that. Oh, it pops right into the front of the building. Okay, cool. And then helipad. Uh, nice, very cool. Yeah, oh yeah. And then we'll come and smooth this back out here during our, our beautification time lapse. In fact, I might even frame it up with an alley right here. I don't know, we'll see. Let's get our fire station. Pretty big too, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Well, I can see my terrain lines down there. Let's, um, let's come in here. We're gonna have to take out Spring Street. That's a shame. And then I'd like it to kind of sit down in this area here. That gives us a little bit of relief off of Beechwood Street here. And then what kind of upgrades do we have here? Uh, garage extension. Yes, please. Training facilities. Oh, yeah. Cool. Uh, disaster response. Ooh. Would it fit? Yeah. If I do a little terraforming down in there, that could be kind of cool. Just kind of nestled in here along Cherry Street. Let's drop him in there. Ooh, yeah, I like the looks of that, kind of sitting on that corner. That's neat. And then he's got a helipad too, right? Let's do that. Okay, cool. 
All right, so those are some big ones. Ooh, let's put in, um, let's just do a little framing around this thing here too. Start from here, just cut right straight through to this side. Bang, and then, yeah, let's do this. Let's, um, let's downgrade this guy to a, an alley road. And then I can just, I could probably, depending on the terrain level here, bet I could sneak a road in back behind here, just so it kind of frames up and looks finished. Ooh, yeah, and then I can smooth that out as well. Kind of like I'm going to have to do over by the police headquarters during beautification, but hey, I like the way that that's shaping up. Now we need to dive over here and start that tram station, eh, tram slash bus station. And the first thing I want to do is I want to create kind of a, a an anchor point, if you will, by just coming out here uh, with a little alley road like so. And this will be the kind of the, the, the stop, if you will, for our tram station. And I want to come in with a uh, tram, L tram track. Uh, I want to draw out roughly from about the centerpiece here. Let's go out 48 meters and then come out in the middle 24. Yeah, like so. And then I can create a nice little loop here. So let's get that opened up again. And we're going to come all the way around here just using a circle. And now I want to upgrade all of those those round pieces into a um, it's the one way. And now I'll cut out this one piece here, this little piece. And then I want to draw a straight line across, say, from about here to there. And in doing so, what it does is it creates kind of this off-center oblong sort of a look to it. And then I can come out from the center point with just a regular tram track just to create an anchor point. And so the little elegant design here is it creates an uh, kind of a, a warped loop, if you will. But this flat area here is, is going to be where our tram stop is going to be uh, right down in this space. And then we'll create bus access coming from the other side. But before I connect up the buses, I want to connect up this tram line here. And I want to do so running through this little channel that runs right through here. It's not a channel yet, but it will be as soon as we get done with it. And I'm going to do so by just picking an elevation that's kind of down along the same height as this train track here, and then just carve this out. Let's just dig this out. I want to cut this little road off here, but to do so, let's just go ahead and connect this road through it just to create a placeholder here. And I cut this off like so. Yeah, that's nice. And then I want to take a tram line. Here's going to be the interesting part. One, two, three, four, five, six. Looks like we have six. So the best way to go into the middle is just freeform. I want to be right down the middle of this little channel here. So I'm going to try and pick the center spot of that four corners there and just come down here and find a center spot of another four corners, say right there. And that should give us a nice straight line for that tram line. And now I can come back in with a road and reconnect right across the top of this here. And what that does is it gives us a nice little gentle, kind of a gently elevated uh, bridge there. So there's a, just a slight little crown to it, but nothing nothing too dramatic. There we go. All right, so we've got that in place. That's really nice. And then I'll extend that down through the rest of this. So let's sit tight. There we go. Now we've got a little tram line that's built through that little channel, and that makes for great connectivity. And now we can connect it up on the other end by simply taking a slope terrain tool, grabbing this elevation up here, and then we can run that tram line right straight up there. So let's just kind of come out here. And voila. There we go. So now the next thing I want to try and do is see if I can upgrade all these walls so that they have this uh, retaining wall aspect to them. There we go. Now we've got those all in place. Much better. So let's now frame up what this tram station should look like. It's just going to be a simple tram stop. Uh, but what I want to do is I want to come out of the center of this uh, this piece here, just so I'm centered up with that. There we go. And now I've got just a nice little spot here where I can drop in my tram stop. Let's try a European tram stop. What's the difference? Oh, one's got it's rectangular. OK, got it. OK. Oh, yeah. OK, I see that. That's kind of nice. And then that'll be our tram stop here. And then uh, I want to come down here with a automobile type road, use this as my center point here. And I'm just going to drive right straight through here without regard to squares. And then I want to come in about like so, cut this back. Because I'd, ideally what I'd like to have happen here is 
I want to have just kind of like a little bus loop that comes in and around on this side here, but I want it all kind of framed up around a parking lot. So if I put in a small parking lot, or maybe a medium parking lot, let's just see what that looks like. Yeah, that's pretty centered up there. In fact, I can come in here now and just um, let's move it something along like this. That's probably a little bit more centered up. Yeah. And then I can run a bus line kind of around behind the back of it here. There, and now I can put bus lanes kind of making its way all the way around here. So we just get a little public transport lane here. And that way automobiles can come into this space in and out of the center parking lot, but buses will be the way that you get around over here on the outside. So that being the case, let's change this to a two lane right here. And then I can have two bus stations, one here and one here. There we go. And now we have two different bus lines that can come in here and serve off of that tram loop. So now this allows me to come in and build out some sort of a little road grid. And I'm going to do so, first of all, by just connecting from here. I'm going to turn off these grids and I just want to run out to about there. And then I want to take this one and run this one straight out into this, this road over here. And then I want to upgrade those roads, though, so that they're bus only. I'll do the same thing with this one here, um, but I also want to make sure that I'm kind of hugging along this um, this arterial road here. So, and I think that's probably gonna be a good place there. I'll start this curve process and bring this up to, yeah, I like that. And then I can come back in here and just snap to this grid, come straight across like so. There we go, and now we'll upgrade the whole thing to bus only. And now let's come down in here, and I want to just take a pedestrian road and run straight down into this corner here. I don't want to attach it though. I want to get down to about there, and then I'll bring the same thing across here, just so again we have a nice squared off spot there. We can zone all the way around there, and then let's come in here with a pedestrian road as well. Just come straight off of this little intersection here. Don't want to connect. Just, yeah, just bring that in. Lots of walkability in this space. In fact, do I want to do this as well? Just come right from here into there, and then just stem right down into there. Yeah, I don't need it to connect. But there, now we've framed up this space here, and I can add a whole bunch of commercial shops right down and around in this little walking plaza. Ooh, let's upgrade this little road here too and make it a lot more beautiful. This is probably good. All right, excellent. Trim this off and we're in good shape. Okay, now it's time to do some zoning. Let's come down into this area down here. I wanna do EU style low density in this space here and do a two by three. Yeah, another two by three there. And then let's just see if we can do the same thing on the other side. All right, now let's just see if we can make use of this little space down here. Uh, I'm gonna grab some walking paths. And uh, I wish those two were lined up, but they're not. And so we're just gonna go ahead and go with what we've got. And then let's, again, keep framing up and, and securing our build squares, because I'd like to make sure that all of our construction is done on the inside, if you will, of this, um, of this shopping plaza. So everything is kind of facing in towards these uh, pedestrian streets. There we go. Okay, that's fine. And then uh, maybe a couple of three by threes here. What do you think? Maybe should I just go two by three, two by three, two by three, just for the sake of uniformity? Uh, we can put in a little decorative element there. And then let's just see what we've got over here. We'll come in with some, and this will just be a little two by two. And then I can come in with back to back two by threes. One, two, there we go. Yeah, see, that's gonna start to fill in really nicely. Let's grab this pedestrian road and run that straight out see what this looks like if I just bring this out to a point where we're about here oh yeah then we can have walking access come into there all right that's not bad so I want to start by putting in a small parking lot maybe into this corner here whoops turn all our snaps back on and then let's take a two-lane road here come out of the center of here and I just want to bring this straight out and then I want to come off the side of this parking lot here so let's just run this all the way up to the edge here run all the way straight out through here we'll cut this off we'll cut this off we'll take this we'll spin you around there that parking lot sits in that little corner down there now which is just fine let's put it right into that spot there and then i don't need to have that in the corner yeah and see now we can dot in all these little shops down in through here 
this is going to become a nice vibrant little shopping district. I do like the way that that's shaping up. So now let's finish out the rest of our you know, pedestrian roads down in this space and build out the rest of our shops. Um, you have to get a little creative now. Let's come down into here and then let's connect into there. And then from here, let's just drive right straight up. Yeah, why not? Let's let's connect it to there for now. You know, again, trying to make this area very walkable. I'll take off some of these stoplights as, as well. But uh, I want to grab a pedestrian road. I want to turn off all my snaps and I just want to come right into this little corner. And then if I do the same thing over here, then it limits our build squares to this center area. Uh, let's do the same thing down along here. See, I want everything kind of facing into this space down here. That should be fine. Let's grab some EU low density and start painting those in. In fact, this could be a big one here. This could be a four by, yep, yep. Okay, two by four, I should say. Two by two. I wonder if I can go three by three. Oh yeah, I like that. And now I've got buildings on slightly different orientations. Oh, that's filling in nicely. I think I'm going to like the way this looks. Okay, let's keep moving. Uh, the next space I want to tackle is this odd-shaped space over here. And I'm going to start by just grabbing a road and running this straight out from this intersection here. Let's cut across. And then I can trim this back and this back and this. Let's put this on a curve. And just come right out of here and bend that right back into there. Yeah, that's probably fine like that. And then what it allows us to do is in this space, we should be able to put in some North American mixed use. Let's do that. And I'm going to go three by four, three by four. Um, yeah, maybe I'll just go ahead and go, f whoops. Ooh, yeah, okay, so four by four in that space. So you got a nice centerpiece four by four in there. That's cool. Uh, down in here, I wonder, well, let's see. I wonder if we can get some row homes down along there. Let's, let's see what we need to do to secure those building squares. So if I come in here and turn off all that, Let's go North American style row homes down in here and we'll go. Yeah, let's go. Let's go too deep. We'll go too deep all the way across there. That should fill in nicely. And then on this side over here, let's see what we've got. And then across the street from the row homes, we can put some some North American medium density. Let's do that. And I don't want them to be very big. And then now we're going to go into this space down here. Uh, first thing I need to do is I need to kind of mirror this curve on this big arterial here. So I'm going to turn this grid back on. And then I want to come in here with just a straight road. And then we can trim that back. And then I need to come in with our little path again, no doubt. And now, let's see here, what do we have? Seven there, five there. Maybe what we do is we come and toggle over to European style row homes back in here. So three little clusters there, that, that, that should be really nice. And then over in this space here, we can come in and do some, maybe I like uh, row homes down along here as well. And that'll do the same thing over here. Yeah, we'll just leave that space open for now. Uh, and then it, can I squeeze in like a medium density? Yeah, look at that, EU medium density housing right there. And then we'll put in another one right here in a three by three. Well, that's too big. Let's do this. We'll, we'll go two by two and we'll go two by two. Yeah, that should fill in really nicely. Ooh, and then this, this to me feels like it should be just a park, like a big walking parkway. Maybe it's, maybe it's Fireman's Park. Yeah, we'll, we'll call it that. All right, let's tackle the remaining squares down in here. Okay, see, and now I'd like to go three deep here. So let's just do that three deep there and let's do the same thing in the next block but let's see if we can make them even deeper like four deep yeah we can do four deep all right this is cool so it'll it'll kind of gradually get a little bit larger here as you make your way down along the tram track here uh and then let's just see how about an alleyway an alleyway that runs just this north and south direction here uh i think i'll come out of here that way we can have Ah, just kind of this nice little pocket back in here and then let's bring in some we'll do low run there we'll do low run there and then i'll come in with north american medium density put it right in the middle down along here let's uh let's continue with our medium density row homes uh but this time i'm going to go back to european style on this side just because uh, i want it to be a little bit more elegant facing out here on this street 
Yeah, we'll do that. Now let's turn our attention on this little triangle down here. This feels like office to me. This feels like we should have a whole bunch of little little businesses, like little accounting shops and tax offices and, you know, just kind of a variety of little, you know, just little tiny workspaces here and there. And that'll just be, you know, again, kind of a lot, a lot of your neighborhood offices. Well, all right, this feels like a good spot for us to jump in and do a beautification time lapse. Got a lot of work to do, and I'm looking forward to it. I think down here along the fire station and the police station, we just need to smooth that out, tidy it up, eh, put in some beautiful plantings and so forth. Let's do some uh, nice work in this area here, this fireman's park, we're going to call it. Uh, we can beautify that up really nicely. I can come back in here and add in some more commercial residence, uh, commercial businesses down along in here. Maybe just tidy that up a little bit. Do the same thing on this side. Uh, yeah, maybe build out a little park right in there. And uh, yeah, I'm sure I've got a few other little tricks up my sleeve along the way. Well, why don't you guys just sit back, relax, enjoy the time lapse. Let's reconnect here afterwards and we can recap our sculpture.
All right, welcome back. And I give you the east end of the Arabica Basin. Yeah, that was the subject of today's build. And I really like the way that this one turned out. There's just so much to unpack here. So we should dive right on in. Before we jump down to the lower level, though, you can see downtown in the background here, all these high rises. And then you've got the North Amundsen neighborhood that sets in the middle here with all the medium density to medium stepping up into high rise. And then, of course, our east end of our Arabica Basin, you can see these row homes and these medium density homes in there. You can see this gentle step up as we make our way into downtown and we'll continue that theme as we continue to expand outwards from our downtown. All right, let's dive right down in here. I want to start with this tram track down here, which is in this little submerged channel that runs, you know, kind of splitting the east and west end of the Arabica Basin. And I did that because I wanted to give tram service into this area, but without creating an eyesore for the people who live in these wonderful little row homes that are right along this, uh, this channel area here. So we dropped that down to kind of keep the visual and also the sound, if you will, of that tram eh, just away from our residents' eyes and ears, and then have it terminusing down in here in this little park here. We got this little loop turnaround in here that I decorated up with a nice little gardens and a simple bus stop station here, transfer station, if you will, with two different stops. One that could, I guess, in theory, run back to our school area that we just built out in our last episode, and the second one to run out into the west end of the Arabica Basin. So we're creating bus service and, and, and tram service into the Arabica Basin. And then you can see we've got a large uh, area, if you will, of commercial shops that sit down here along all of these pedestrian roads. And I brought in this EU style, low density commercial shopping in this space. I'm anxious to see what they look like when they level up, just to see if it's the look and the feel we're going for. We may decide to mix up some of those buildings down the road, but I like the way it's starting so far. And then we transition into some of this mixed use building here. I used the North American style, and I like the way it wrapped around this little corner here and then gently transitioned into this medium density homes before giving way to these row homes that sit down along this tram track, if you will. And you got the small versions here, the medium versions here, and then of course the larger versions down here. So you're stepping up in height the closer that you get to downtown. We brought in a lot of EU homes down here in the background um, because I like the you know the step up in elegance, if you will, that they offer. So for the EU row homes, uh, that when they fully upgrade, those are lovely. And then of course you've got some of these EU medium density buildings here. Maybe just a light, slight step up in price, if you will. Now let's jump in and take a look at that big police headquarters that we put in here. I like the way that that nestled down into this corner because anytime I've got an intersection and I'm not sure what to do with it, I oftentimes like to drop in big service buildings. They're good space eaters and then they don't mind so much being by a busy intersection. But we framed it up nicely with this little alley road that runs all the way around the, uh, the building, all the way around the structure here. So it gives it more definition and even ties back into our main arterial back in over here. And then of course we've got our fire station as well which also drops down into another corner here. And it's got nice, easy access to the freeway and this big main arterial as well. We also have this big disaster response building in here. So really taking care of the residents here in Pangasas Bay. And then I dropped in this little nook, if you will, of offices. And maybe that's your tra tax preparation. It's, it's maybe it's your, your lawyer, it's your financial advisor. Um, yeah, you know, just some of your basic services that you might see in low density, low rise offices, kind of servicing a community. And I really like the way that turned out here with their kind of their view separation view, if you will, because you've got this barrier with this train track back here and then overlooking out towards uh, the freeway. And of course, you've got your Ben Keel Point neighborhood over there. All right. And then, of course, it's our top five design element. Yeah, Fireman's Park sits right down in this space. And we created this really interesting geometric pattern, if you will, this uh, kind of <laughs> really modern look and feel to our Fireman's Park area that's got all sorts of different plantings and all sorts of different shapes and designs. And I did notice all throughout the, you know, the t detail. Yeah, you can see it's getting a good workout. You got people making their way through the park. And of course, you've got a dog park that sits over here on the right. So I, I, during detailing and, and some of the other stuff, I, I noticed a number of people walking their dogs through the park and so forth. And I think it's just a nice little oasis that really gives a nice buffer between our big, massive service buildings, our fire station and our police station, and some of these residential you know homes that are stuck, tucked in here as well. All right. Well, that's going to do it for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it. This one was a lot of fun and it challenged me on a whole different level because I had to bring in a tram service into an area that I really hadn't thought about it in the, in the past. Now, if you guys saw something that you liked today, be sure to leave us a comment below. Love to hear from you. Um, you guys always have such great ideas and great thoughts and comments. 
Uh, it, it's always just a, it's a pleasure reading all the comments. Uh, you know, or else just leave yourself an emoji down there for the sake of engagement. It really does help with the algorithm to distribute our content to an even wider, wider audience and allows us to bring you more content here from Pangasus Bay and also our Manor Lord series. And if you're looking to throw additional support at the channel in a different way, well, we've got different membership options, both here on YouTube and over on our Patreon page. Can't thank you guys enough for those of you who have already stepped up and, and really supported us in the way. Your generosity is, is much appreciated. And also, while you're at it, be sure to chip away at that like button and hammer that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the happenings here in Pangasus Bay and our Grand Vanillica series as well. All right, I'm going to bid you guys a fond farewell. Until next time. Good morning, good day, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.